validation of a bank <laughs> account is uh, very very important so uh, in cases what happens i mean what is the uh, what is the average amount of time that is taken to validate a bank account and there are a lot of queries that we receive uh, wherein uh, validation had failed uh, or uh, questions on whether i can uh, link to uh, uh, multiple bank accounts to my pan so uh, could you uh, answer that Uh, for our taxpayers. Uh, Subhash, it's a very important point. On the income tax return, the requirement is that you should quote all your uh, bank accounts. So, uh, the first step I would like to inform all the taxpayers is that uh, irrespective of whether a bank account is validated or not validated, all the bank accounts have to be quoted and that, mm -hmm. is, that is the basic requirement. Right. Where does the question of validation come up? The question of validation is coming up only to ensure that your PAN number is mentioned in the bank account with the bank. So, it should be linked in the bank account because only then the refund will get credited to the bank account. So, we have a system where we are automatically crediting the refund to the uh, bank account. Right. Now, for that we need to make sure that that bank account belongs to the taxpayer only right. and that is why that, uh, that uh, PAN number should be available in the bank. So, the process of validation is to ensure or get a confirmation from the bank that it is the PAN number is available with the, right. with the bank. So, this process is online for nearly uh, 21 banks um, and then if, uh, if the bank say for example, a small cooperative bank is not available online to be validated, we have an offline process. We Every week uh, we are sending um, uh, the bank accounts which are quoted for validation to, the, to such banks. The offline process takes about 7 to 8 working days. Uh, for the validation to happen. Okay. As I said, the validation is important to ensure that the refund is credited to that bank account. Right. So, uh, in terms of validation and bank account, sir, now uh, let's say there's a taxpayer who has a foreign bank account uh, who he, uh, and he wants to link it to his uh, PAN for his return filing. Is that possible? So, the quoting of the foreign, if he has a foreign bank account, it should be yes. quoted in the income tax return. Right. However, the refund is only credited to an Indian bank account. Okay. We do not credit any uh, refunds to any foreign bank account, so that cannot be validated. It is outside the country, so we have no means to validate that bank account. But uh, uh, Indian bank account only is required for a, a refund credit. Okay. So, uh, we had talked about a lot about linking PAN and Aadhaar and that's one of the uh, that's one of the most used uh, formats for uh, validation. So, uh, is it just enough that someone links their PAN with their Aadhaar or is there something else that they have to do about it? Uh, as I told you uh, Subhash, uh, the most critical thing to note is that the Aadhaar number should also have a valid mobile number registered with UIDI. Right. Uh, the if that if that uh, if that is not there, then he will not receive the Aadhaar OTP. So the Aadhaar OTP is a very important thing because that enables him to e-verify his return. So that is also critical. If a taxpayer does not have a valid mobile number registered with uh, UIDAI or Aadhaar, then he can go to any Aadhaar enrollment center and uh, get that uh, mobile number activated for the Aadhaar. दोस्तों ये मेरी सात किताब है जो कि Amazon.com पर पब्लिश है आप इसे डाउनलोड करके पढ़ सकते हैं इन किताबों के लिंक्स इस वीडियो के डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए हुए हैं इन सात किताबों में से पांच किताब मनी मैनेजमेंट पर है यानी पैसा निवेश करके अधिक पैसा कैसे कमाएं पर आधारित है